Hello everybody, it's Vortac, and welcome back to RimWorld. This is our fourth, no, f uh, fifth episode in our third colony, and today we are suffering from some low food. In the last episode, I decided to set them up uh, and get started mining into this mountain here so they can have a base, uh, kind of underground, not underground, but you know, in a mountain, and prepare for the winter ahead, and we're not doing a very good job of preparing for the winter ahead because... We have no food. So, uh, in this episode, my focus is trying to remedy that problem by uh, clearing out this farm a bit and maybe making them prioritize growing food a little bit more. Uh, we also built this building uh, for our comms station and things like that, so we can put some stuff in there, in there as well. Uh, so, yeah, we have a long road ahead of us. And speaking of long roads ahead of us, before I get started today, I wanted to quickly tell you guys that I'm considering making these episodes a little bit longer. Uh, generally, I try to shoot for uh, under 20 minute videos. I usually say under 15, but lately I've been kind of pushing that by a minute or two. So I generally try to shoot for under 20 minutes uh, because just historically on YouTube, people have a pretty short attention span. But the difference with people who watch gaming videos on YouTube is they it, they don't expect to just see a quick little funny video and move on with their day. They actually seem to take time like in blocks and watch some of their favorite gaming YouTubers. I know I do. Uh, I watch a few people and we just turn on the channel and go through their playlist. So I'm thinking it's probably not a bad idea to make these episodes longer. And for the other reason of I'm not getting a whole lot done in these short little episodes and I'm not really doing anything off camera here either. So I'm considering longer episodes. I'm not really looking for feedback because most of the time people are like, yeah, longer episodes. But if you have something against longer episodes, if you're like, ah, I know I can't, you know, these are already long enough and I don't have time. I'm curious to know uh, your thoughts about that in the comments. So please let me know if longer episodes are something that generally is a problem for you. And I'm, I'm asking for all videos on my channel, not just RimWorld. All right, so we're going to get back into it here. I'm going to hit play. And we're going to see what they have going on. Uh, Vortex just kind of grabbing some wood. I think he's putting the finishing touches on this building. Weem is wandering. I'm not sure what he's doing. Resting. A uh, long day of wandering around doing nothing, huh? Whoa. What's happening? Uh, summer has begun, but winter is coming. Your crops won't grow in the winter cold. All right, so it's summer. Uh, Porthos has developed an infection in his torso. Ensure that you have a medical bed and a doctor. Make sure the is is it port port Porthos? It's proper treatment and spends much time and as much time in bed as possible. This is our prisoner. We've captured him, and he has an infection in his torso, which uh, I don't think I can give them a biotic torso. So let's see. We'll go into health. Uh, his, his blood loss for throughout his whole body. His torso is gunshot wounds. Um. Wow, this guy's beat up really bad, uh, and I am running out of supplies. So what did I do? I put him so he has medical attention and, and food and things like that. Uh, I guess another bed is what I need. You can make a prisoner bed, like an, a medical prisoner bed. So maybe that's not such a bad idea to give him that. Uh, I'm going to go into furniture, beds. No, no, no wooden bed and we will I don't want him to get trapped in that little corner <laughs> but we'll put that here and I obviously need a bigger prison so Weeb's coming to take care of that or something and Vortec is working on the comms center cool all right so their focus on food is basically none at all I'm gonna see if they can harvest what's here very little okay and I'm going to see if we can get some of these trees in this farm taken care of. And we'll cut the other plants in here as well. Alright. So that'll clear out that other farm. I believe I'm growing strawberries in this one. Growing zone 2. Strawberries. Yes. So I don't know if that's going to help them focus on farming. But I know those are probably in the way. And I don't know when they're going to get to them. So... <clears throat> Excuse me, William's taking care of that. Uh, this bed is not being built yet. There's Ben. He's just a visitor. Cool. All right. Uh, with this guy infected and not being a part of the colony, I'm not really worried. Like, if, if we have to murder him or harvest his good organs to sell, 
Not worried at all. I am kind of worried about the our medicine at the moment because I don't think we really have anyone good with medicine. All right, so the bed is done, and as you can see here, uh, you can set as medical or you can set for colonists. I'm going to set this as medical, and because it's in a prison, it turns dark orange. And what that means is it's a prisoner's medical bed. So now he can lay in this and, and heal up, and they can also, I guess, work on him. <laughs> Now, another thing I wanted to uh, address today, uh, just just now I'm realizing it. Once again, I'm recording without downloading this UI mod that I keep getting uh, thrown at me in the comments. And I feel really bad because I keep saying I'm going to download it for the next episode, for the next episode. And what happens is I go to record RimWorld when I have some time. And I just sit down and record. I, I totally forget about preparing the game and getting mods and stuff. Because this is one of those games, unlike Rising World, where I need to go out and harvest all kinds of wood and stone before I get started. This game I can just sit down and start playing. So, uh, I apologize for not having that UI mod. It's supposed to like help you see everything at a glance, I guess. And make life really easy for me when I'm always like clicking characters. Oh, what do you do? What do you do? So that's kind of what it's supposed to do. Ah, clearing this farm did help with my strawberry growth. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to go back into orders and have them harvest some more because these all grew in. Uh, we've detected a cluster of cargo pods crashing nearby. Yes. What do you got for me, cargo pods? What? 15 little health packs in the very far corner of the map. Let me click on this real quick. Weem failed to recruit. Oh, that's not that far. I'm just going to have them pick that up. That's the only thing. Okay. Medicine is a little too hard to pass up, especially now with the uh, Torso Man over here taking up all our resources. They're getting food. They're going to be able to eat some delicious nutrient paste. Awesome. I feel like I can easily turn this colony around. There's no huge problems yet. The only thing we're really facing is low food. Uh, we have the comm center. Uh, colonists need... Oh, oh. We've recruited him. He lacks a weapon, he needs treatment, he needs a bed. We've successfully recruited. Okay, cool. I guess he had nowhere else to go. What else is he going to do, right? Just rot in that little prison cell? How is he feeling? Let's see. Starvation and blood loss. Infection in his torso. I don't know how to treat that. What if I add a bill? I can harvest... Harvest, harvest. Euthanize, install peg legs really nothing else I can do for him. So, we don't have a medical bed for, like, colonists. I guess it's time to build yet another bed. Furniture. Now, this is why I was thinking of making these episodes longer, because anytime I try to, like, have a goal for the episode, <laughs> it gets quickly uh, changed, because there's just too much going on. All right, I'm going to set this as medical, and he'll probably sleep in there. Uh, in fact, we have another problem. He's not... He doesn't have a bedroom. Damn it. Alright. Now, wasn't I going to put rooms in this? I, I bet past Vortac in the previous episode had said otherwise, but now future Vortac is going to put rooms in this. Uh, let's go into... Why can't I find anything today? Structure. Wooden. And I'm going to put... We want the rooms to be a decent size. How is that? That, that's a pretty decent size, I would say. I'm going to do like this, because one room will be bigger than the other, and we get to put like... So this will be like a little medicine, or, you know, little medicine room. <laughs> little doctor's office. And this one will be a bedroom. I'm going to set... I guess since he doesn't have a bed, I'm going to... I'm going to see what he does before I set that bed as like a regular old colonist bed. We're going to come into here, furniture, and place down a wooden bed like that. Okay, there we go. He seems to be working with the infection and the blood loss and the, blood loss and the starvation. He seems to be doing some work. He's pulling his weight, that's for sure. I don't want to lose him. Ah, he's sleeping in the medical bed. Perfect. That like forces him to heal. So it's a new day. Vortec is taking care of Porthos. And uh, he is up and running about. I'm not really sure what to do with this major infection. He's in a little bit of pain. Uh, he shouldn't be starving because there's food now. Uh, plenty of food. Not sure why he's starving. <laughs> but there we go. So I want to see where we're at with our new digs here. 
Uh, Squitch is mining away, and unfortunately, being the only person who seems to care to mine, this is still going to take a while. So our new rumpus room is uh, kind of far out there. That means what we need to do is figure out something for now for food. Uh, I'm going to go into production. Yes. We need a couple things. We're going to need a cook stove. And we're going to place that right here. Uh, it gets power off those lines there. I'm going to leave room for batteries. So I'm going to put it like right here. What's this? A trade ship is passing. Ooh. Do I have a lot of silver? I do have a lot of silver. Let's pause real quick. Who's good with social? Uh, we have you, Vortac, who is one social. Ooh, Porthos is seven. Weem is six. Where are, where is Switch? One. Okay, Porthos it is. Go ahead and call the combat supplier. Is it a combat supplier? It's a trade ship. Yeah, combat supplier. Go ahead and do that. We'll see what they have for us. Maybe instead of combat things like weapons and such, they'll have, I don't know, food? <laughs> uh, medicine. We could use some more medicine. Let's see. I'm going to take... Oh, no, 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 no. We want medicine. We don't want to... Okay, we have 34 medicine. We have 14. I'm going to take like five of those. And... Hunter doesn't have a weapon. We don't know what kind of... Let me accept this and see what kind of skill he has with shooting. He's nine, so he's definitely someone we want with a gun and not a knife. Even though he can learn melee, I'm going to give I'm going to give him some kind of gun. Let's give him something cheap, though. Uh, well, I don't know. These are all kind of expensive, and he's probably going to die soon. I just want the alert to go away. Hunter needs weapon. <laughs> Should I give him a short bow? Oh, that'd be a really stupid thing to do because this is an awesome trade ship with halfway decent prices, but... Wait, shells? Fired from cannons. Oh, I was going to say, do we need to buy ammo for all the guns? Uh, or we could do a knife. Wow, a golden knife is 15,000. No way. I wonder what the hell is so special about it. One of humankind's oldest tools. The knife is both an everyday tool and a deadly weapon. Market value is very high. Flammability? Okay, max health, work work to make 100, damage 9. Just because it's made of gold? That's stupid. That's stupid. You know what? Okay, he's going to die soon, but we still need like a nice gun for the future anyway. I'm going to buy this M24. Why not? There we go. And now he can borrow this M24 while he's still alive. <laughs> Here you go. Equip that, buddy. Vortec is just now finishing work on the cook stove. Now, what we're going to do with this, uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of power because we don't really, we're not drawing a whole lot of power. But while it does, what we want to do with this severe illness, oh, he's at risk of death. Yeah, I don't really care. Uh, what we need to do with this is go into bills. We're going to add a bill for simple meals. Now, the way this works is uh, we can have meat and vegetarian meals. Uh, I just want to keep it simple. Simple meals are simple. And we need, I believe, requires 10 raw food. Doesn't matter if it's potatoes. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's strawberries. This is just simple meals. If we wanted to go for the more advanced stuff, we need like a couple different ingredients. But for now, I'm just going to have them do uh, an infinite amount of, of uh, simple meals. And the reason I'm doing that is because nutrient paste is not something that people necessarily enjoy eating. So this will give them simple meals to eat instead. Now what we can do with simple meals is we can make a freezer and store them for the winter because we're going to have uh, you know, some problems here in the near future because it's getting super cold. So after summer's over anyway. So that's kind of the plan. What is this? Medicine. There is medicine and a knife sitting here that is uh, not available for them to pick up. So I fixed that. So, look, Weems making simple meals, that's awesome. They're going to probably go for those over uh, the nutrient paste, but the nutrient paste is still there for their consumption uh, if they so choose to eat it. Now, clearing out this farm took longer than I thought it would, but it's almost done. So I think we've done pretty well. We, we have farming going, they're not low on food anymore, and the only thing wrong is this asshole with severe illnesses and risk of death. I, I really don't know how to fix his... Uh, his problems here. What if I... 
I mean, the only other option I have is rest until fully healed. So I'm going to have him do that. I'm just going to have him rest until fully heal healed. Perhaps he'll never heal. Or perhaps we'll have him uh, we'll have him up and at him, and maybe he can actually help out the colony instead of setting off little <laughs> alerts. So there we go. I would say um, that's probably an episode. We have some farming going on. We have a cook stove now, so we're cooking. Uh, but in the next episode, I hope to have this room finally finished. If I have to pull a couple more people and have them prioritize mining, if possible... I'll do that, and we'll get that place finished up and hopefully move them indoors very soon. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of RimWorld, please leave a like on the video and uh, comments, suggestions, things like that. I try to read every single one. Much appreciate the support in the series. I will see you guys next time. I'm going to take my rake, see if I can smooth this out a bit. If Even if I could just get like a nice-looking drop-off uh, so I can put our you know main area down that would be nice but yeah if you if you just rake down these kind of evens it out a little bit more we don't get the dirt back